So I'm Guy Rigby, I'm Vice President of Food and Beverage for uh, Hotels in the Americas, the sort of South America, North America, and all, all of our resorts as well. And luckily it includes Hawaii. How do I define luxury? Um, I think it's very aspirational. I think luxury is different to different people. Um, someone who, is, um, who doesn't have a lot of money, who is uh, living from week to week, will have a different view of what luxury is to someone who earns a lot of money and uh, travels extensively around the world and um, already uh, has become accustomed to a lot of luxurious things as part of their day to day. So I think it's an aspirational thing as luxury, is what people aspire to uh, that they don't typically have every day. That's kind of what I see as luxury. I think time is the one luxury now that you can't buy. And uh, I would love to be able to put the clock back a little bit and do a lot of things again. That would be a luxury for me. Um, I work with a great hotel company. I'm surrounded by luxurious things. I'm never very far away from a great bottle of wine or a great meal. Um, I go to the theater, a wonderful family. Um, so all those things are luxurious for me. I don't aspire to drive a Ferrari every day. So I, I, to me, luxury would be to be able to put the clock back and have more time to do things. Oh, uh, very, very definitely, it's uh, about the way we take care of our people. Um, not only our guests, but our employees. We take really good care of our employees. Our employees will take good care of our guests. I, I went to Georges Sank in Paris once when I was in, um, I was GM of our hotel in Thailand. And we flew overnight um, with uh, my then uh, eldest daughter, who was probably one year old and my wife and I, and we had our Thai nanny with us, and we arrived, and um, a bit, you know, straggled and looking a bit messy, and we're arriving the George Sang, we want to be very fancy. And they said, uh, we're sorry, Mr. Ribby, your room is not quite ready, we're rushing it as quick as we can, it was eight o'clock in the morning, but can we interest you in some breakfast? So I was chatting to the um, hostess at breakfast, who couldn't have been nicer perfectly groomed and spoke perfectly English and um, she said, uh, you, you, you're with Four Seasons aren't you Mr. Ruby? I said, that's right. She said, I just want to tell you, um, it's just so wonderful to have the Four Seasons culture in Paris because I've worked in a lot of other hotels in Paris and um, you know, the, 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 the general attitude is that, well, you know, we're very good and um, we don't really need anybody else telling us what to do. And the lovely thing about Four Seasons, she said, Mr. Ruby, is that it's okay to try hard. And it's okay for us all to, to be together as a team to really try and exceed the expectations of our guests. And I love that about this company. And I don't want to work with any other company. And so as a guest, to be on the receiving end of that must be pretty cool. So I, I think that's what makes us special, is that it's, it's okay for us to try hard. And I don't think that we ever are too complacent. I think that's the other thing I love about Four Seasons. I don't think we typically run around saying, okay, we're number one, we're the best. You know, we're, I think we're fairly grounded about the fact that uh, it, it's, a, it's very, very hard uh, to get things right. And we're constantly, consistently every day, you can do it for five minutes or ten minutes. You can put a team together and just nail it for one party in the evening. Um, but if you look at what was happening at this resort last night, we were at that beach barbecue, which was an amazing party. But they had three other events going on at the same time. Beach Tree Restaurant was packed. Ulu Restaurant was packed. Room service was going nuts. So, you know, you can put all your focus on one event, but then what the hell's happening in the rest of the resort? So I think that what, what really is sort of one of the things I love about this company is that we, we do recognize that it takes a tremendous amount of effort to, to consistently be good all of the time. 
And I, I don't think we ever take that for granted. And if, if we did, I think it would be the end of what we do.